you know, I wanted to make a movie about, you know, the damage technology is doing and how it's so out of control and how, you know, we, we need to have a conversation about it. But at the same time, I didn't want to be preachy, you know, because I'm one of the biggest offenders when it comes to too much screen time. Hi, Gerard, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I um, loved Megan, so I'm doing great now. I want my very own doll. No, just kidding. Um, but I know you've said that you've taken inspiration from Blumhouse, from James Wan in the past. So what was this collaboration like for you now? Was it a dream come true or careful what you wish for? <laughs> no, absolutely not. It was, it was awesome. Um, you know, I was a massive fan of James when I was making my fir first horror film, um, his movies were stacked up on the desk, to so I could figure out how he, you know, how he did the scares. Because there's so much into creating horror that a lot of people don't know about. It's, it's, it's. I certainly didn't know about it. Um, so, so that was that was great to have um, his endorsement, really, to um, and that he uh, thought of me for this. So it was a very easy meeting. They just basically offered it to me, and and I was excited by this. Um, maybe naively so because I didn't quite realise how involved it was going to be. Um, but no, Blumhouse were really supportive, and this is a challenging project, you know, to to do something like this. Um, you know, we're working with, you know, kids, children. Oh, sorry, children, kids. They're the same thing. Uh, we're working with the kids, animals, and you know, animatronics right. and puppets and robots, and and so, you know, all on a pretty tight schedule. But um, you know, they were always great about uh, just giving me what I needed to to finish it, and yeah. So yeah. How many layers go into something like as iconic as the dance sequence now, right? How many iterations do you have to go through for that? Well, what was really funny is like, you know, these movies are made on a very tight schedule and we had about five dance sequences and they were all great. And this is really just the, the, the one we could, you know, do, the first one we could really do. And, and, uh, and it's just been amazing to see how just that was enough. It's, and thank God I didn't change it. Thank God I didn't do, do something else because it just felt like it was the perfect level of, um, uh, of uh, uh, like something that someone could do themselves at home apart from the flip. Um, but yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but no, it was, uh, I mean, it, the, there's a point to the dance. It was always important that it wasn't a dance for dance's sake. Like she's doing it to kind of like distract the guy while she picks up the guillotine. Um, so, so yeah, but no, it was, it was really fun. Taking TikTok by storm. So congratulations. I know, <laughs> I know. I did not expect that. That yeah. was a really lovely surprise. <laughs> yeah. I love how much comedy there is in the horror, but it doesn't work without that bond between uh, Gemma and Katie. Mm. So how do you tow that line of having the horror elements, having the comedy, but also making sure that we go back to the central emotional thesis, if you will? Well, I think you've coined it. Like, it doesn't work unless we're really invested in the characters. Um, so it's it's always about um, just making sure you're finding the right balance and figuring out is uh, you know is this something we should be laughing at or you know is this is is, is that wrong to laugh <laughs> to laugh and, the, and sometimes you end up you know with uh, stuff that's unintentional and that works uh, and then I just claim it and say yeah that was my intention the whole time but no it is just a it's a balancing act of um, you know, I wanted to make a movie about, you know, the damage technology is doing and how it's so out of control and how, you know, we, we need to have a conversation about it. But at the same time, I didn't want to be preachy, you know, because I'm one of the biggest offenders when it comes to too much screen time. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So, so it's just figuring out that balance, really. Mm. Is this the beginning of a beautiful friendship with Blumhouse? Well, yeah. Look, we're... Uh, yeah, absolutely. I would uh, I would easily make another movie with those guys. Yes, yeah. and I would see it. So great, thank you great. so yeah, much. Yeah, cool, awesome. <laughs> Have a great day. Cool, thank you. So, cheers. Thank you.